All right, first majestic silver corp, their AG. This is talking about the Wall Street bet silver short squeeze and how the squeeze works and what's up with uh, the silver miners and specifically the AG, uh, which is my my favorite silver miner. Uh, I just like this stock. So word on the street uh, from Diamond Hands is that we might have a, uh, a physical silver short squeeze taken off. And it looks like uh, that word's already gotten out to the silver miner <laughs> traders because uh, this thing just blew up and did a little speed wobble and potentially has already set up a relatively parabolic trend line. This looks pretty crazy. Okay, so this is, yeah, first majestic silver. And as we all know, the fundamentals of the company have very little to do with the actual stock uh, other than the company going bankrupt. Uh, you know, send the stock to zero, like if the company actually goes away, not like a bailout bankruptcy, but like a real one. Um, other than that, um, companies can just print stock and uh, people just trade them back and forth. And the uh, underlying business has almost nothing to do with it. Um, so silver uh, short squeeze is about buying up all of the physical silver. So like shipping physical silver to your house or going and get physical silver vaulted and like private vaults. Um, not in, not in like the bank, not in JP Morgan's vaults or something. Um, your own silver that you physically have um, because there's a few things going on at the same time. And this is not financial advice, uh, entertainment purposes only, but uh, there's a uh, less, physical silver than all the paper silver that have contracts out. So uh, there's like a, you know, a fraudulent amount of uh, paper silver being traded. And then that's why you can see discrepancies in between the silver spot, like the metal price and the paper price can vary quite a bit. Um, so yeah. Like the, and the paper silver is also shorted and then the miners are also shorted. So, as far as the short squeeze goes, like SLV or like this, like AG, you know, First Majestic does have short interest, but it's not short interest like the GameStop short. Like on the GameStop short, the short interest was 140% of the available shares. Like there were more shares short than even exist uh, to be traded. So those are like fraudulent shares printed and sold like naked short into the market. It's it, the GameStop short squeeze was exposing fraud, um, and it was running the numbers against the people running the scam, basically. But uh, there's a similar situation with physical silver, and the physical silver market is actually small enough to to buy all the physical silver up. Like half of the silver is monetary silver, and then uh, the other half is kind of industrial usage, like a lot in and computers and things like that. Um, and like half of the monetary silver JP Morgan has vaulted and, and J JP Morgan is the custodian of the SLV, the silver ETF. And so, uh, and then there's shorts on the SLV and extra contracts. And then on first majestic here, there's also shorts, but, yeah, the short squeeze itself is not on First Majestic or on the SLV. It's physical silver. So you have to buy the physical silver. And and then these stocks uh, could go crazy. There's also short interest on these. And squeezing the physical silver will drive these up. Um, so it's possibly like a, a double squeeze when you're looking at the miner because the squeeze on silver will push it up and the shorts that are on here will push it up a little bit more. And then also miners, when silver is going up, tend to go up like parabolically more than the silver itself. So it could be like a triple parabolic up movement in the, in the miners, uh, silver miners in general, but uh, First Majestic's the only miner that is really a silver miner. Like 
there in Canada, they have mines in Mexico, they mine silver. Everyone else who does silver gets silver as a byproduct of mining gold or something else. But like First Majestic is like the silver miner and they have the ticker symbol, symbol AG. Like this is the miner, like really the only one that I consider like a real silver miner. Um, so this uh, could be a crazy... It could be a crazy company for a call option. Now I've looked at, um, yeah, I mean it could it could take off now on this trajectory, and it could, could it could get onto higher bubble trajectories and if stuff got crazy. Um, but I've looked at the S and P a couple of times, and I wanted to point out uh, what's up with the market now. It's pulling down off of off of the the top right now. Um, so I just wanted to point out that when we had this big crash in 2020, silver pulled down almost in half. So silver prices, if there is a big liquidity rip, um, can come way down just because everything has to get sold to pay for, uh, you know, all the margins on everything. So um, if we have just like turned over on top of a, a pull down here, like if the GameStop squeeze turns into a liquidity situation or like the whole stock market gets in trouble or something like that, it's possible that we do have like a big down move right now. Um, if that happens, silver might pull down right now. It's also possible that uh, we go up for who knows another four five months or whatever. And you could have like a big market top that does pull down at some point. Um, so silver is definitely susceptible to market moves, especially if you get rips down, like it'll pull silver down uh, while it's going down. So um, I've covered tons. I had a silver playlist. I guess I have to make a, another one and go add the videos, but I've talked about silver a ton. Um, the market conditions where silver is good is increasing growth and, and increasing inflation is the best market conditions for silver. So if you have uh, like, decreasing growth and decreasing inflation uh that's when stocks crash and that's also bad for silver so um so yeah it's possible we get some conditions like that right now and it's possible we get some conditions like that like four months from now or something like that um so silver could uh, be volatile but it does look like silver in general is just kind of set up on a pretty supported bull market now. It looks like a bull market set up for silver as long as we're in the same conditions. And it looks like we will be as long as the stock market doesn't blow up or something right now. Um, and then, yeah, and then I was just looking at AG. Uh, already shooting off to a parabolic move. And... Right. And already kind of setting up like it might want to take off. So, I mean, if it gets support by market open, we should see if it's getting support. And I mean, it could do the, you know, the kind of thing we've seen from mRNA and whatever else. You get like this high angled bull market support and it'll shoot up and it'll kind of like pin it over to support and it'll shoot up and pin it over to support until it breaks through. Um, and that's just kind of the chart that I'm looking at now. This looks like a pretty uh, a hypey, a hypey bull, very beginning of a bullish like takeoff right now. Um, so this is a pretty cool one. That's a really cool one for a call option uh, and probably a long dated one. I mean, this could be, well, I mean, silver could be in a, in a bull market for the next 30 years or something. If we're at, if we're at like an inflationary bottom and inflation picks up from here, like that would be a, a super long commodity bull market and silver bull market. Um, so, I mean, this could be the beginning of a silver bull market now, or we could get a huge market crash. Well, this week or sometime this year or something like that. Um, after which you kind of switch into more inflationary. Um, so anyway, that's kind of the chart and the fundamentals. And then, 
just again, well, this is not financial advice, just uh, smash that like button and, you know, entertainment purposes only, of course. And this, yeah, this stock, like the AG is not the squeeze. Like the squeeze would make this stock do awesome, most likely, but the squeeze is actually buying physical silver. Um, so uh, the GameStop squeeze is still on. So everybody that's holding uh, GameStop right now is probably not also buying a ton of physical silver. But um, if the stampede starts and everyone that's trading on that, plus all the new media and everything else, everyone tries to buy physical silver, like the prices are just going to start going up. And we're going to find out that there's not actually physical silver for delivery. And then like we'll get into some some more crazy lawsuits and whatever else and silver prices could freaking skyrocket. They've been held down for a very long time. Um, so, I mean, they could short squeeze up and like exposing all of the fraud and like getting rid of all the shorts will push it up. And then also just the speculative like flow into the sector could blow it up. So like it could go crazy for all of the reasons. And I think it's pretty likely that it will. And it may have started two days ago uh just checking out this chart i think the i think the speculative run on this is starting and this is a really cool one i think this is a really cool one for a call option so like the the buy and hold is the physical silver and this first majestic i think is great for a call option um slv is is dangerous like slv is shorted it's going to squeeze up, but like when it gets exposed, that SLV is not really backed by the silver. And like, uh, you know, JP Morgan uh, has like removed all the freaking silver backing. And um, <laughs> it's like multiple, uh, <laughs> they're counting the physical silver two or three times for each share and all that stuff. Um, everything that I've heard about the physical silver. And, uh, you know, like with the GLD, like the gold ETF, that is, um, ah, what's the name of the bank? Uh, the London bank that's in Singapore. Um, ah, I'll think of it in a minute. Anyway, it's uh, one of the risky banks is like the back backer on the GLD. So I've always said like the GLD is super dangerous, but like SLV is probably okay because it's JP Morgan and they have a ton of physical silver vaulted, which they do. Like they have more physical silver than anyone in the world. Um, but they are, it's not one-to-one, -one, you know, um, they still don't have it backed. And silver is a small enough market that you can make a run on the physical silver and it'll be like a run on the banks where they can't back the freaking paper shares and it'd be a fiasco. But uh, all of that would drive the silver price physical way up, probably miners way up. And the SLV would start going way up until it gets busted. And then who knows what happens. Uh, I wouldn't want to be holding SLV when it goes bad. Uh, so that's the look at the short squeeze. And then also just First Majestic in general. Like not only are they like the only like true silver miner, um, they sell silver coins. Um, so if you don't have some kind of uh, retirement account or something like that where you have to have specific coins, um they have uh on their website you go to firstmajestic.com this is not an advertisement um but i've bought silver from them and they typically have the cheapest coins that you can find they're the miner they mint them themselves they're awesome they have like aztec symbols on them um or like the like the pyramids the aztec pyramids on them or the mayan pyramids sorry i think they're mayan pyramids but um yeah, like the Aztec like sun wheel thing and the Mayan pyramids are on the coins. Um, they're cool looking coins and and they're uh, pretty much cheaper than anyone else, anyone else you can buy coins from. Um, you know, if you want to ship coins to your house or whatever. But um, I guess as far as like a safe place to get specific coins or something like that i was looking at bullion star i was in singapore last year um you know when the silver price crashed to like 12 11 or 12 dollars that was just like the paper silver went to 11 bucks but the cheapest coin that you could get 
at like a real dealer was like it was 25 bucks an ounce it was as low as it went and majestic was like 22 i think is as low as it went uh it's about 30 an ounce right now for uh for physical coins and bars from them um this weekend and we'll see if this stock shoots up and we'll see if that physical bullion price starts driving up and then also definitely keep an eye on this GameStop short squeeze because it's not over and the huge stampede into silver is not going to start until this one ends um so i mean GameStop could go parabolic this week the freaking stock market could be shut down or who knows what um so I want to position myself in call options on First Majestic and buy up uh, some more physical silver. And then, yeah, and then who can, if they shut down the stock market, okay, like shut it down. You can buy physical silver without the stock market. Like that's the next freaking squeeze and shutting the market down isn't going to do anything. So uh, that's what's happening. And uh, any other short squeezes that people are talking about are not a technical short squeeze. Like these, the GameStop squeeze and the silver squeeze are like exposing fraud, basically. Um, but the other short squeezes are just some short interest that you can kind of push against. Um, it's just pretty normal trading activity. Like if something's overshorted, you can squeeze it a little bit, but it's not the same thing as GameStop where they have more shares than exist, like illegally shorted and it's like a big fraud situation and that whole situation that's going on now with all kinds of lawsuits and blah, 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 blah. So, um, yeah, if the stock market doesn't completely blow up, uh, I would imagine silver goes for a run. And then if the stock market does blow up, I don't know exactly what happens. Things could come down and then go up from there maybe so um yeah and maybe i don't know that's i guess i guess uh <laughs> if you if you think that silver is going to take off and the whole market's not going to crash right now uh this is probably the best entry point that you can get uh but if you know if you think the market's going to crash there may be a better entry point uh, into this kind of trade. So that's the AG speculative kind of uh, play on the short squeeze, but the short squeeze itself is buying physical silver, physical silver short squeeze, AG, first majestic minor, uh, you know, spec speculative investment, not investment, speculative bet. So that's, that's that, that's the AG. Um, yeah. So I think that'll do. Happy trading. Uh, I think I've already said not investment, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, cheers. Have a good weekend. Could be crazy. Next week could be absolutely crazy. So we'll have to see what happens to the entire market and the, <laughs> the financial industry. <laughs>